We are focused on volatility arbitrage, which, Bob, after last week's Fed decision, seems like a place that we should revisit Yeah, because a lot more investors are expecting a lot more volatility. Yeah, a lot of hedge fund guys are saying that the volatility levels are going to start to tick up here. So volatility arbitrage is a kind of stat arb, a kind of, you know, this is what the a lot of people ask me, what do those Princeton engineering students do when they go to Wall Street anyway? You know, the answer is they, they do statistical arbitrage stuff, uh, of which the this volatility arbitrage is a kind, and the idea is that you're going to be able to play the volatility in the market, profit from the volatility without being exposed to the overall direction of the market. So how does that work? Well, you start off with something called a delta neutral hedge. So let's just review that. We talked about it once, but a, a, a delta neutral position is, it goes like this. When a stock and an option are out there, the option to buy the stock, the stock moves a dollar. The option might move some other number because especially if it's far out of the money, it's not going to move dollar for dollar exactly. So that relationship, the ratio of those price movements is called the delta or it's also called the hedge ratio. So a delta neutral is a position that takes account of that and keeps it in balance. So if we start then with a neutral position, how does volatility arbitrage play in? Right. So now we assume I'm, neutrality. Right. So now you've got your delta neutral position baked in. Let's just say that you're long the option and you go short the security. All right. Now what happens is you will make money if the volatility, the realized volatility, in that position in the option turns in the stock if the realized volatility turns out to be greater than the implied volatility that's baked into the price that you had to pay for the option so when you buy that option a component of the price that you're paying is for the volatility that's in the stock this way if there's more volatility than has been priced in and you're long the option and short the stock you profit so the crazier the markets the more money you make if you have this kind of position on that's exactly correct it, assuming that that, that that craziness hasn't been originally priced into the option when you bought it. That's really what's going on here is you're making a bet that there's actually more volatility coming down the road than the market is pricing into that option today. Okay, so knowing something or at least being able to anticipate something, to your point, not 100% baked in, but probably also worth noting or at least worth my asking you, does it matter directionally up or down which way these things go or is it just no. the more volatile? It's all the more money. Right, exactly. Once you've got your position on, then you're hoping for more volatility, and you don't care whether it's up volatility or down volatility. And that's why it's called arbitrage. But I've got to tell you, it's a little bit of a misnomer because the reality is you would think that arbitrage means you're not exposed overall. You're not exposed to a market move, whether it's up or down, that's fine. You're happy with that. But you are exposed if you're wrong about whether there's enough volatility priced into the option or not. You're still exposed to the question of how much volatility is there really going to be out there. This sounds obviously fairly professional level as far as setting it all up goes. I imagine for a more simple strategy, you could buy options on the VIX or something. Right. You, you, people can play the VIX, but of course that's across the entire spectrum of the stock market as opposed to particular stocks. And the really great stat arb guys are the people who can delve down into particular stocks and see, oh, here's an option that's mispriced vis-a-vis -vis that stock.